So I'm gonna make a super wine cap bed. Come join me in the chaos. Yeah, I'm probably way more excited than I should be. So my previous wood chip pile was over here. <laughs> and I just uh, had my wife put in an order in this, with the city and like this is this is amazing I would guess it's probably between 20 and 30 cubic yards I'm not sure it's the biggest wood pile wood chip pile I've ever gotten like <laughs> but I came out and it was like steaming a little bit so I figured it wanted a little bit of help so I can let the sprinkler go on it for a while just to make sure everything's, all the microbial life is going nuts. But in a moment, I'm gonna spread this a little bit. So the main reason why is when you see that steam coming out, you have bacteria going nuts. And bacteria is good because bacteria is really good at becoming food for fungus. So things like wine cap, it's gonna put out hyphae that are going to eat decomposing wood, it's gonna eat bacteria, decomposing anything else that's in that that fungi, that uh, wood chips is gonna get eaten. It's gonna become food. So by doing this like mild fermentation, it's going to jumpstart the ability of the wine caps to um, spread through the, the wood chips. And then I actually have a little culture that I made and I'm gonna talk about that in a second. All right, so I stole this, I borrowed, I uh, ripped off this method from Paul Stamets. So I can't completely claim um, my own novel thoughts. I just kind of took some of the ideas that he did and created my own procedure and it worked really well. So what I did is I took this tote. See how I have holes drilled in the top? So this was not done, but what he, what Paul Stamets did is he had a, he did a video where he has a big barrel and the barrel has wood chips in it, but then he fills the barrel with water. And I think people have probably done this for a long time. And basically what you do is you fill up the barrel with water so that the wood chips are submerged. And when the wood chips are submerged, they ferment. And when they ferment, it's anaerobic, which means there's a bacteria that thrives without oxygen in those wood chips. And you let it ferment for a couple weeks and then you drain it and then you inoculate it with the fungus of your choice. And I inoculated this with wine cap and it's pretty crazy. Like I just basically took a, um, a what is it called? A, um, sawdust. It was a sawdust spawn um, that I got online and I mixed a sawdust spawn in here and then closed it real quick after I drained it. So the reason I had holes in the lids I forgot to mention is since this was flooded for two weeks when it was done flooding I just carefully flipped it over and I let it drain for about an hour and then I flipped it back the other way took my uh, sawdust spawn just kind of mixed it in the top five or six inches. Um, I put a glove on because I wasn't sure if there was anything sharp in there and I just closed it right up and then I put some fresh cardboard and just laid it across the top just to keep the humidity in. And there's actually fungus growing on the cardboard, which is kind of cool. But anyway, covered it with the cardboard and then put this lid back on and just let it breathe. Just set it in my uh, basement with plastic over it just to keep the humidity high. And that was like four or five days ago. So I'm impressed with how much this ran all over the surface. And I looked it up and what it seems like is when you have a coating of anaerobic bacteria on your wood chips, that anaerobic bacteria just basically dies and their bodies are really high in nutrients, really high in um, nutrients that the fungus wants. But since there's not very much oxygen or since there's so much oxygen, they're either dying or they're dramatically um, diminished in their ability to compete with fungus or any other microorganism. But since I inoculated it first with wine cap, and a large amount of the spawn that became the alpha organism in this in this container and so basically I have wine cap mycelium all over this so I'm going to show you what I'm going to do next but you can probably guess I'm going to combine this with that and hopefully create a huge area because this is like a 30 gallon tote full of mycelium and I'm kind of a cheapskate so I just bought one of those little tiny bags online for real cheap and I expanded it into a bunch of containers just like this as an experiment. So this one worked really well. I also got some of the um, the 20 bag, 20, 20 pound mycelium bags. And I did the same thing in those bags. And those also look amazing. And I'll show that later on in this video. But anyway, I'm gonna show you how I make my wine cap bed. All right, so one of the first things I like doing is 
upcycling some old cardboard. That's gonna be your base. All right, and then of course your next step is to inoculate your stuff. And you don't have to go through the trouble that I went through. Although I like growing the wine cap spawn into a much larger amount that I can use for a lot more stuff. But basically all this cardboard I'm just gonna coat with the uh, spawn. And then I'm going to cover up the coating of, of spawn with more wood chips from that giant pile I just showed you that I was wetting. All right, so after pouring this, I realized that I probably should have let it colonize a lot longer than four or five days, whatever I did. Because obviously just the surface, I would say the surface three or four inches was pretty well colonized, but it didn't go that much deeper to the container. So I got a decent amount of spawn but i suppose the rest of this will probably colonize pretty quickly but yeah i probably should have gave it another week or so i just didn't want the giant pile of wood chips that i have to just get overly colonized by who knows what so we'll see how this works out but next time i would probably i'd probably give it a month for it to contain it that big so i probably should have gave it a lot longer i got overconfident with how fast it was running across the surface Live and learn. We'll see how this goes. And that's what it looks like all done. Blackbirds are going to love that. So will the mushrooms.